Have you ever wondered what could make the Philippines one of the most powerful and important countries in the world? Now that's a thought, isn't it? Picture this. Deep beneath the Pacific Ocean, in the heart of the Philippine Trench, lies a resource so potent it's often referred to as white gold. But this isn't the kind of gold you'd find in a jeweler's shop. No, this is the kind of gold that could fuel our future. Let me introduce you to deuterium. It's a form of hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, but with a twist. You see, unlike regular hydrogen, deuterium packs an extra neutron in its nucleus, giving it the nickname heavy hydrogen. Sounds interesting, right? But why is this heavy hydrogen creating such a buzz? The answer lies in its potential as a source of clean, abundant energy. A deuterium nucleus, under the right conditions, can fuse with another nucleus to release a tremendous amount of energy. This process, known as nuclear fusion, is the same reaction that powers our sun. Imagine harnessing that kind of energy here on Earth. The possibilities are, quite literally, astronomical. Now, where does the Philippines come into all this? Well, the deep trenches of the Pacific Ocean surrounding the Philippines are rich in deuterium. In fact, they're among the largest deposits of this white gold in the world. This places the Philippines in a unique position with the potential to become a key player in the global energy market. But here's the kicker. Despite its potential, deuterium remains largely untapped, largely due to the complexities of extraction and the challenges of harnessing its energy. But what is this mysterious substance? And why is it so valuable? Well, that's a story for another chapter. For now, let's revel in the potential of this white gold and the power it could bring to the Philippines. Let's continue to explore, to question, and to marvel at the wonders of our world. So what exactly is deuterium, and why is it so critical to our future? Deuterium, also known as heavy hydrogen, is a stable isotope of hydrogen. Now, an isotope is a variant of a chemical element with a different number of neutrons in the nucleus. While a hydrogen atom typically has just one proton and no neutrons, a deuterium atom contains one proton and one neutron. This extra neutron effectively doubles the mass of the deuterium atom, hence the moniker heavy hydrogen. Now, you may be wondering, why does this extra neutron matter? Well, it's this additional neutron that makes deuterium an incredible potential energy source. Deuterium is a key player in the process of nuclear fusion, a reaction that powers the sun and stars. Imagine harnessing the power of the sun right here on Earth. That's the promise of nuclear fusion. And deuterium is one of the fuels that can make that dream a reality. When deuterium atoms are heated to extremely high temperatures, they can fuse together to form helium, releasing a huge amount of energy in the process. What sets deuterium apart is that it's not just powerful, it's clean. Unlike fossil fuels, combustion of which releases harmful greenhouse gases or nuclear fission, which produces long-lived radioactive waste, nuclear fusion with deuterium produces virtually no harmful byproducts. So we have a fuel that's abundant, powerful and clean. It's no wonder scientists and energy experts around the world are excited about the potential of deuterium. But there's a catch. While deuterium is abundant in the oceans, extracting it in a practical and cost-effective way is a challenge that we're still grappling with. Now that we know what deuterium is, how can we extract it? How do we get our hands on this white gold? Deuterium, this elusive element, is also called white gold for a reason. Its extraction isn't a walk in the park. It's a process as fascinating as it is complex, and it starts deep beneath the ocean in the dark, frigid depths of the sea, where pressures are extreme and temperatures drop below freezing, deuterium is found in heavy water, or deuterium oxide. Extracting it requires precise science and innovative technology. Picture a deep sea mining operation. But instead of hunting for gold or silver, the treasure is an isotope of hydrogen. We dive about seven kilometers below the sea surface, where the concentration of deuterium is the highest. It's a challenging endeavor, no doubt. The crushing pressures, the bone-chilling cold, the pitch-black darkness. These factors make it a high-risk, high-reward operation. But once we've navigated these obstacles, the extraction process begins. Seawater is piped up to the surface and into a processing facility. Here it undergoes electrolysis, a process that separates the heavy water from the regular water. This heavy water, rich with deuterium, is then distilled multiple times to increase its purity. However, the process doesn't end there. The deuterium in the heavy water still needs to be separated, 
And this is where things get even more interesting. Through a method known as the Girdler Sulfide process, the deuterium is extracted and collected, ready to be used as a powerful source of clean energy. Now here's where the Philippines comes into play. The country is uniquely positioned on the planet's deuterium belt, which is found along the coastal waters of the Pacific Ocean. This geographical advantage places the Philippines at the forefront of deuterium extraction, making it a potential powerhouse in the clean energy sector. But it's not just about the extraction, it's about harnessing this resource, about turning potential into power. So with all this deuterium at their fingertips, what could this mean for the Philippines? What does a deuterium-rich Philippines look like? Now there's a question to ponder. As we begin to unlock the power of deuterium, the Philippines, sitting atop vast reserves of this potent element, could undergo a transformation, the likes of which has never been seen before. The economic impact alone could be staggering, with the global energy market shifting towards cleaner, more sustainable sources. Deuterium, the fuel of the future, could see the Philippines catapulted into the limelight. This archipelago nation could become a central hub for deuterium extraction and production, attracting investment from around the world. As the demand for deuterium surges, the Philippine economy could experience a boom creating jobs, fostering innovation, and propelling the nation towards unprecedented growth. But it's not just about the economy. The political landscape could shift as well. With such a valuable resource at its disposal, the Philippines could leverage its newfound power to negotiate better terms in international trade and diplomacy. It could use this opportunity to amplify its voice in global forums, advocating for issues close to its heart, such as climate change and sustainable development. However, with great power comes great responsibility. The extraction and production of deuterium must be managed sustainably and ethically. Environmental considerations, such as the preservation of marine ecosystems and minimizing carbon emissions, must be at the forefront of any deuterium-related activities. Moreover, the wealth generated from deuterium must be distributed equitably, ensuring that all Filipinos benefit from this resource, not just a select few. The road to a deuterium-rich future is fraught with both opportunities and challenges. But if navigated wisely, the Philippines could emerge as a global leader in the energy market, demonstrating to the world that it's possible to harness the power of deuterium in a way that benefits both people and the planet. Could the Philippines become the Saudi Arabia of deuterium? Well, the answer to that question could very well be a resounding yes. What does the future hold for deuterium? As we gaze into the crystal ball of scientific advancement, we see a future where deuterium plays a key role in global energy production. The potential of this heavy hydrogen isotope is enormous, and it's not just about fueling our homes and industries. It's about a sustainable, clean future, where our energy demands no longer contribute to the relentless march of climate change. Deuterium, with its extra neutron, has the potential to revolutionize nuclear fusion, the process that powers the sun. Imagine a world where we can replicate that stellar performance right here on Earth, creating a virtually limitless supply of clean energy. No more fossil fuels, no more greenhouse gas emissions, just pure, powerful energy generated from the water of our oceans. But the path to this future isn't easy. It requires intensive research and investment into making deuterium extraction more efficient and sustainable. Today the process is complex and energy intensive, but scientists are tirelessly working on innovative solutions. They're investigating ways to extract deuterium more effectively and to harness its power more efficiently. From advanced filtration methods to cutting-edge fusion reactor designs, the race is on to unlock deuterium's full potential. The implications of this progress are profound. It's not just about a new source of energy, it's about a shift in global power dynamics. Countries like the Philippines, which are rich in deuterium, could become the energy powerhouses of the future. They could lead the way in the fight against climate change, providing the world with a sustainable and abundant source of energy. So as we look to the future, we see a world transformed by the power of deuterium. A world where energy is clean, abundant and accessible to all. A world where the Philippines, with its deep-sea deuterium reserves, plays a pivotal role in shaping our shared destiny. 
The future of energy may indeed be in the deep sea waters of the Philippines. Subscribe for more amazing content and keep wondering about the world around us. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.